Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. For software automation testing, Selenium WebDriver is most powerful and popular tool because the license cost is free. So Selenium WebDriver it supports multiple languages like Java, Ruby, Python, C Sharp, uh, JavaScript and many more. Also it supports cross browser and cross platform testing too. Today I will show you how to run your test with multiple browsers like Google Chrome, Internet Explorer and Firefox. So I'll write some code to open an application and that will same code will run for the multiple browser. That is my goal for today's tutorial. So let's go to the computer screen. I'll show you step by step process how to do that. Now we are at computer screen. So let's open Eclipse first. Then we'll go step by step process how to uh, test across browser testing using Selenium WebDriver. First we have to create a project over here file new java project then make a project name i'm making it is project 4 then click finish project 4 is created if you expand over here there is a source folder right click new package let me package name com dot test then click finish package is created right click on the package new you first is java class let me name the java class browser method i'm not taking the main method just a method click finish i have to create another a class which is test runner i will do the j unit test case j unit test case let me name this one test runner then click finish now it is telling me to import the JUnit library as it is not in the project path so take it click ok here is the JUnit over here also we have to uh, in build path we have to import the um, selenium web driver jar so right click on the project properties java build path libraries add external jar so here is my selenium first take this two jar open again go to add external jar whatever in the leaves folder take all of that select all of that click open and then click apply apply and close so this is our two two class one is the runner one is the browser method so in the test runner class we don't need this line just delete that and also go to the browser method this is the browser method first let me create web driver instance web driver driver equal to null so you see web driver is red mark go over here import web driver this imported web driver let me create a method public void open browser so i'll create this method with two parameter one is string is url and another one is string browse browser here is the method open browser i'll write to browser method over here and i'll call this method in the test runner class that will uh, do the cross browser testing so first i will make a switch case statement for this method creation switch browser and then case
so first we will do chrome browser then break the statement so basically in this uh, switch case statement we will write some code over here if that is a chrome browser then it will execute this one otherwise we will go another case so whatever we have to do first thing we have to set the browser properties before that let me do one more thing in the project for uh, go to the project for right click new folder create a folder so folder name is driver click finish here is folder created let me go to the show in system explorer and then here is the driver let me take a look where i have the driver before so here is the driver copy that chrome driver is for chrome browser and also gecko driver is for firefox driver so project 4 there is the driver i am importing in the project path here is that if you refresh the project you will see that driver is there refresh if you drop down there is two driver we needed for that so first thing we have to set this property of this driver system dot set properties you see set property key value pair so first thing second value will be path for this driver so let me do for chrome driver web driver dot chrome dot driver so what about the path for this chrome driver it is the chrome driver if you go to right click show in S system explorer open driver this is the path for the basically chrome driver and uh, gecko driver both are the same so if you paste over here last thing only one thing you have to type chrome driver dot exe then finish the line with the semicolon and then driver equal to new chrome driver semicolon so now the chrome driver is the red error so go there mouse over and then import chrome driver we have to basically import the, you see the chrome driver imported over here so now driver is um, browser is initiated then driver dot get so i'll take the get method so what we'll get we have to pass the url over here so basically we are not passing uh, the actual url we'll pass the this parameter url then we can perform an action um, like let's say we'll navigate to the google chrome so i mean google website so let's go to the google.com here is the link gmail basically we'll go this home page and just click gmail link so whatever i have to do driver dot find element by dot let's say put link text what is the link test is gmail and then 
let me give you one thing little time to open the home page thread dot sleep let me do 2000 millisecond that means two second it will wait here is the red mark if you mouse over you can do try catch method or thrust declaration let me do the thrust declaration over here red mark is gone then once it is performed then we can close the driver driver dot close one browser is done now same thing we'll do for the firefox driver let me copy whole thing what you need to change let me see only you have to replace from chrome to firefox here is firefox driver name is gecko g e c k o gecko driver and also here you see gecko driver not chrome driver it is in the same position g e c k o gecko driver dot e x e here is chrome driver here is firefox here is red mark just mouse over import the firefox browser driver that's it it will navigate the url whatever url will place then it will wait two seconds then it will perform the action then driver will be closed then we can put a custom message over here s y s o print ln let me put a message like that chrome browser open and perform action let me do the same message for firefox browser too Firefox okay my method is done now we have to call this method in test runner class so go to the test runner class what is this class name browser method copy this instantiate that class browser method let me do the bm equal to new browser method end the statement with the semicolon then if you do the bm dot if you press dot it will give you the option available method whatever the our method is open browser right if you click over here there is two parameter one is url let me supply the url then browser thing which browser you want run i want run chrome browser let me take the url from google.com here is the url copy that paste it over here here is the red mark if you mouse over it is asking uh, as we provide the uh, thread dot slip so it is throws declaration or try cast method let me do the thread declaration so red mark is gone let me here we can do another wait time thread dot sleep so it will open google chrome browser and wait two seconds then it will perform for the firefox browser so what we have to do just copy this line only change chrome to firefox so basically uh, for testing purpose automation testing purpose or any development perspective 
method creation it is reusable anybody can use this method just only they have to change the url and browser then it will run with the uh, that url with that browser so basically uh, for reusable purpose you don't need to this code method code writing over and over again so eliminate that uh, timing issue now only you have to create the test runner class and run with call the method and submit your parameter then you can run so here is the firefox firefox okay save it let me run this thing right click run as the unit test let's see what happened It is open Google Chrome Chrome browser perform the action and again it open Firefox browser okay let's see um, Firefox browser open and perform action let me take a look in that basically it did not click the gmail link so whatever we did just add over here dot click this means we missed that in before that's why it did not click so one more thing you can do over here once um, it is navigated to the url then you can add one more line over here driver dot manage dot window dot maximize so this means after opening browser it will make a full browser it will maximize that so let me add the same line over here in the for firefox 2 maximize after gmail dot click because in previous run uh, we did that but uh, we forgot to add the click method that's why it did not click so let me run again is the from here right click run as j unit test open browser it is maximized and also it is clicked to gmail and then it is closed and also open firefox browser it navigated to the google home page then it clicked gmail and then close so that means same test it run with the multiple browser in the same way you can run your test in any browser in the same way you can see the custom message over here chrome browser open and performed action so here is the same thing in the same way you can do cross browser testing with other browser too so basically my goal is in the last of couple of tutorial i will make a framework in the same framework uh, is different type of method you have to call this method and perform action so basically the usable method is the important part of framework so that uh, it will save your time and it can be used by many different tester or different user so that is the cross browser testing i believe this will be helpful for you if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also if you have any question please make a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this video